Now, any questions? Mother, I'd just love to say, I love you. That's okay. And, um, I would like to, sometime tonight, take the rest of the pictures, because I'm not sure the others can have. And this is my important question. How can I still my thoughts? What did you say? How can I still them? He wants to know, how can he still his thoughts? Yeah. How can he still his thoughts? Why? Not He's making himself thoughtless. You just say, Lord's prayer. Now, before my photograph. All right? Lord's prayer is the entry. It's the entry. Hold on. There's a little announcement concerning all of you. There is a photograph of Mataji which is available from Tracy, who's sitting over there, which you can buy. It's a very good quality black and white photograph. And she has a few tonight. Christine will have a stock of those photographs. There is also a book called The Advent, which a few people have already received, about Mataji's Advent and about Sahaja Yoga, which you'll be able to buy once you settle into Sahaja Yoga. Don't forget that Christine is here, Herman is here with his home, which is offered as a meeting place for Sahaja Yoga. You should all get together after Mother has gone, form a nucleus, get yourselves strong, and then begin to give realization to others. Then you yourself will be able to establish centers in your own district, maybe even go out of New York. This is how it's going to grow. As Mother says, as one candle becomes enlightened, it can enlighten another. You've got a tremendous responsibility. Christine is here to assist you. Tracy is going to the West Coast. And this is how it's going to spread through America. Take it in your both hands. And Steve is in Boston. Steve and Christine. Steve and, and, and Christine are in Boston. Christine, let everybody see so that you can get the names and addresses of any contacts, and Tracy will be in the West Coast if you know anybody over there. And at Harman's place. Harman, can you stand up? I'm going to see his place tomorrow. Where is he? Where is he gone? He couldn't get here tomorrow. Huh? He had to work tomorrow. No, he had to work. He came in. Uh, you mentioned on the right side is the super ego, on the right side of the brain, you mentioned that the superego is on the right side. In fact, no, I mean in the sense that it moves like this, you see? And like this. Now, this way. But more super goes on the right side. This is more on the right side. But the movement is like, you see, the, the thing is, the division is like this, all right? What type of thinking would increase the activity on this side? That would increase the. Uh, what sort of thinking would increase the activity of the superego? No, no, no. What sort of thinking, she's asking. What sort of you thinking? You said too much thinking. No, you thoughts. don't think now. You see, don't think. You have to become thoughtlessly aware, first of all. Don't think. But once you are realized, once you are realized, whatever you think happens, whatever you want happens, because your attention is in life. Your attention is in light. Like I went to Orleans. There was a lady who was suffering from breast cancer. When I cured her, she was all right. And I was then in Switzerland recently, about after the year, and somebody came from Orleans, Robert, and he told me that Mother, she's all right, and she's a surgery, but now she has got a terrible trouble in her kidney, and she's got terrible pain and she's in the hospital. And as soon as he told me, the pain stopped and the stone came out. And since that day she thought, so it just works that moment. Whatever you ask for, it will work. Whatever you want for, it will work. Because you become collectively conscious and the collective being helps. Apart from that, all the angels, like St. Michael, who resides on this side, his birthday was yesterday, day before yesterday. 
we are celebrating St. Michael's brother, is left side here. And St. Gabriel is on the right hand side. And all their armies are with you. They all look after them. For example, a realized soul, established realized soul is traveling by a train, there will not be an accident. If there is an accident, all will be saved. They are saved in such miraculous manner. I mean, there are thousand and one things you will see that will be amazed how you are helped. So you don't think, leave it to God. He thinks for you. How does one know that you reach someone who is in your body? For example, I have read a lot about Rajneesh and I've met a man named Swami Vishnu Devananda and I'm very impressed by both of them. And what, how do I know that you... I was impressed by them as I am impressed by you. What do you say? How do you know whether somebody is a realized soul, is a true teacher? You see, unless and until you are your spirit, you cannot. You have to become your spirit. Then you get your vibratory awareness. You get the cool breeze coming into you. Now this cool breeze is nothing but is the all-pervading power which you start feeling on your... You have come for the first time? That's why. This question is justified, but I have told about it. Then you start feeling the all-pervading power. All right? Then you can also feel whether a person is realized or not. But if you are not the spirit, you can know, even logic, for a person who is a realized soul, never can take anything from him. He cannot be a parasite. He doesn't live by your own. Such a person, it's all right. You can pay for this all, all right. Uh, you can pay for the traveling of the person, is all right. But you cannot live on the money of other people because you want, supposing somebody to come, you can pay for the taxi to come. That's a different one. Now such a person will have a temperament which will be very detached, not bothered. He's not a money-minded person. He's not a uh, worldly person sort of a thing. And he's not bothered about mundane things of life. Such a person needs a holy life, has to be a change cannot have marry his own secretary or something like that and carry, uh, become a Yankee or something and behave like a stupid uh, person. This he cannot do. All such people cannot be realized souls. What should they, who cannot ask for Rolls Royces? I mean, to such a person Rolls Royce is the same as a Bulakka. What is the difference? I mean, you can sleep on the road, you can sleep in the palace, anywhere. Makes no difference to such a person. This person can be rich by birth, could be poor, makes no difference. He, he has that kind of a body that he can adjust himself to any kind of life that is there. So many things can be seen and it, he cannot take any effort. He should not make you do any effort. It is he who works. I have to work. You don't have to work. The person who knows swimming has to work hard to save the person or the person who is to be saved has to work hard. I mean, it's a simple logic, simple logic. If they tell you to stand on your heads, you tell them that, are you going to save us or we are going to save ourselves? Those who have to save have to work hard, very hard. Yes. They have come for the first time. And I know that you'll ask some question. Which one? All right. I have no questions. I want to just say something. All right. I have no questions because I realize that the question very often creates resistance. I must tell you that uh, during your general lecture I felt as if you were speaking to me. Right. And, I know uh, you, you are a very really nice speaker. I could see that. And I want to let it sink in. That's all I want to say. It was beautiful. He's just speaking saying how much when he was listening to you. I know, I know, I saw you, I saw you, I could make it out. I was very happy to see you there, very much happy to see you there. I know, I know. And there are so many like you in this country, which you have to see and find them out. There are so many. They are just, I don't know why they are not here. I was expecting them, like you today. I was expecting you earlier. All right, what is the... Um, 
She read an article in the newspaper about biological warfare, which is taking place in Cambodia. Biological warfare. It, it, it means like, you know, they have organisms that, they use organisms which emit a toxin uh, to kill people. They use organisms which emit toxins, which kill people. And I'm, I'm wondering if this is the beginning of the end. She says, is this the beginning of the end? You see, these things people do because they hate. They hate. They have never known the power of love. They have only known the power of hatred. The power of love is so powerful, so dynamic, you can win them. It's nice you brought it to my attention. My attention is on Cambodia. It was on Vietnam, it was on Cambodia. My attention. One has to work it out. But now, first of all, you should know of this country, which is going to be destroyed from within. You don't know how much these gurus have destroyed you. This is a very bad. Uh, very, very bad atmosphere. Children can be killed just like that without even your knowledge. People can be killed just like that. This black magic, if it takes over, they can kill you just like that, you will not go. The spirits can work out. Black magic can be very effective. Uh, they can make people commit suicide. Thousands of them can commit suicide. I mean, this is a very much more dangerous thing than that biological stuff, which is so much in the open, but this is secret. And you have to be careful. Anything can happen in this country. Apart from that, all of these people, you have allowed them to come here, these are antichrist, and they have brought all the bad vibrations there. Such bad vibrations that the whole country can go into a big turmoil, I and mean, there could be a very big upheaval, earthquakes, can be any Horrible things can happen to this country. I mean, you are perched on a very, very serious situation, which you should pay attention to. Don't pay attention to Cambodia. It's not so difficult. It can be controlled. It's more in this country. It's a problem. Let's not ask any more political one, one more. questions. All right, later on. One. Just about the spiritual side. Okay. I feel very confident about the spiritual side, so I don't about need. About what? So I don't need to ask about that. About but this I've never heard. You see that which he says now. I don't understand what he means by secret gurus. See, I'll tell you what. There is a psychological attack, you see, on the psyche of the people, to the spirits, and which is a very serious thing, of which you have no idea. You are very naive people, absolutely naive. You have no idea. Even you are playing with parapsychology, it's a very dangerous thing. Parapsychology, Russians are like that, extremely naive. They are getting into the psychological drama, complete psychological, of which you are not aware. You are not at all aware of it. And that is the attack is going to come on you very seriously as possible. Now imagine these people are having 50,000 people, imagine, madly in love with the Antichrist. He's a born Antichrist, he's the Antichrist who is here, stationed here. Who are you referring to? To this Guru Maharaj. Oh, Guru Maharaj. Oh, yeah. So many of them. Rajneesh, you gave him place here. Rajneesh is Antichrist. He is horrible, you brought him here. He could not exist in India, he could not. All sorts of people you have got here, Mahesh Yogi, all of them. Mahesh Yogi also? Horrible. He's the worst of all. Why? Why? Because he's destroyed so many people, he's given epilepsy. <coughs> he's director of his flying spot that he had in Switzerland. In Scotland. He had the real one in Scotland. And the director was with Mr. Peter Pierce. He came down to me with his epilepsy and his wife and his daughter. And you must see what she has written now about what he did to her. Before coming to me, she gave this interview. I would not have allowed her to do that, but she did it before. And uh, that's how he's done. He's getting epilepsy and things like that. I mean, how will you get over your epilepsy? You cannot cure your epilepsy. You don't know from where it is coming, or you don't know the source. You don't know how to cure yourself. You are so naive. And there are thousands and billions and billions. You can't even see what's wrong with you. You don't even understand anything about it. I mean, nothing, you have no idea. Your psychology is like a child compared to the knowledge Indians have about it. I mean, they know all about it. 
I mean, you may think you are very developed. You might be developed as far as the bridges are concerned and this and that. But as far as the human beings are concerned, you have no idea. You are very simple people, extremely simple. But Mother, I've been practicing transcendental meditation for nine That's years. That's it, I know that. <laughs> and you get this catch. Now you will see in your rising of the Kundalini, you will see. Good. All right. I found it not to be a negative thing in my life. You are a sweet person. Thank you. You are a seeker. You be kind to yourself. Kind to yourself. You are the temple of God. But I never liked Mahesh Yogi. <laughs> I took his mantra, two of them, and mantra I said... That's what I said, the mantra, you see, is a big science. At every center there's a different mantra. He just gives you one mantra. He gave and, me two. And two? You see, he... He didn't give it to me, I had to buy it. Good. You see, his mantra, if you tell in Indian, he love it. One mantra is Tinga, which means this, showing like this is Tinga. Inga. Inga means the, That's the right. tail. The tail. Inga means the tail of a scorpion. Can you imagine? I use that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. It is no Sanskrit, nothing. It is horrible. It means horrible. You tell anybody that he gave me the mantra of Inga, Indians will laugh. If they know any Sanskrit, even if they know Hindi language, ordinary Hindi. Ainga. Ainga means a very bad Hindi when somebody has to say I come. What does it mean? means I come. If you have to say I'm coming, it's a bad Hindi language where you are you don't know Hindi language, then you say I'm so, <laughs> It's a joke. What do you do with your mantra? My I have one too. I can't use it. It doesn't work with me. But it's still in my mind. It does nothing anymore. You throw it out. TM, just forget it. You forget it. That's why the problems you were saying are the doubts. They put the doubts. These horrible ingas, pingas and tingas. There is no no jiran like ing in Sanskrit. No, it's from England. He must have picked up ing. I don't know. I don't know from where. Oh, he's horrid. Good. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Mother, the uh, C word that you use when you like meditate on the uh, chakras, you start meditating from the lowest up to the top, and you use the C word. Like long, young, son. no, it's long. I can't hear it. Well, anyhow, if you meditate, is that all right? Using the seed word. If you meditate on the chakras using the seed, med seed mantras. Just now you don't. All right? Pardon? Just now. Just now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just now to establish yourself. You see, now if you use the seed mantras. You just don't do it just now because you don't know where the Kundalini is. First of all, establish yourself. You should know yourself what is the problem here. Then in Sahaja Yoga, we teach everything one by one. What chakra is catching, what mantra is to be used, what seed mantra is to be used. There is no need now to use even seed mantra because you have got the Kundalini in your hand. You see, so you use the Kundalini mantra. And that's how we have got mantras for everything which you have to learn, gradually do. But don't do anything on your own because still you have to establish yourself fully, isn't it? Unless and until you are established, say, unless and until you are a fully fledged engineer, nothing is given into your hand. So first of all, now the time of transition is very important. First you are transformed, but transmutation takes time. Like a caterpillar, she becomes a butterfly, but it has to get rid of all the nonsense that was being with it. And that has to take place. One, it has to become a butterfly, then it knows how to do it. All right? So the transition time, you have to be very, very careful, go very steadily and rise. And Christine is here, and also we might send somebody from England for her uh, to help you and work it out gradually, steadily, steadily, till you achieve a position where you understand deeply. Because all these things you forget. Forget about this so-called knowledge. <laughs> like Shankaracharya has said, Adi Shankaracharya, that once you get realized, even the science looks like a child's play. It's all this knowledge is non-knowledge. So thus I said, O oh Lord, take away my avidya, take away my non-knowledge. So just forget about the Bij Mantras just now. All such books on chakras and throw them away. You have your own book of your experience. Yourself learn and you become the masters, masters of Kundalini. 
you have such powers as Sri Ganesha has. You can raise the Kundalini like this. Even the great and great gurus I have met in India, they are jealous of it. Take it from me. They are real people, no doubt. But they can't understand why I have given you realization so fast. They can't understand with all your impurities, how are you raising the Kundalini when they cannot raise it. It's very interesting that you are made after the pattern of Sri Ganesh, immaculate. To first establish yourself, that is important. All right. Now, those who have come for the first time, yes. I, I'm just curious, perhaps I missed what you said, but could you explain what is the Kundalini and how can we raise it? Kundalini. It's very good. That's what I will tell you, that how to raise it yourself. But uh, just now, you see, we'll first of all give you realization. Then you can use my photograph for some time for raising the Kundalini for the people. You put them before the photograph. You don't try yourself alone in the beginning. What you do is to put them before the photograph, all right? And just put a light before the photograph, ask them to put the hands before the photograph. Now you start raising the Kundalini. After one hand you may keep with the photograph, if you want. Raise with another hand the Kundalini at the back, just like this. You yourself will feel it rising. And the fellow can feel it also. One hand may not be feeling, another hand may not be feeling, all that. And then you will know which chakra is catching by your fingers. You see, it's all in the book. Have you got the book? All right, you'll get the book, it's there. And then you will know yourself, and then you will know what is the chakras that are catching. And of course, we have a center where you will know how to correct the centers, how to establish the realization. All right? And also those who want to come to India are welcome. We are having a tour for about not so many days actually if you say. It's about 40 days too in the villages of India. If you can have a little rough time, if you don't mind, you can come along and uh, it will be a good idea. So also that I will inform Christine about it, how we are going to organize it. And you can come there because he came with me, he just came to me first of all and then I took him round to the villages and then he got established well. Then he went back to Australia. Now he's established in seven cities. I mean, not he but others with him, he got realized and all that. Now in seven cities they have got centers and so yoga is spreading very fast. So that's how it is. To establish it is not difficult. Christine is here but you should be steady about it, steady. And forget all that you have read, forget about what you know, just for the time being, just become one with your spirit. And then you start yourself learning what is wrong, what is wrong. As he asked me how to make out, first you become your spirit, then you can make it out, then you get the discretion, that power, you get the vibratory power of the cool breeze. All right? Mother, what about Sun Young Moon? Sun Young Moon? What about Mr. Moon? The moony man. Wow. Antichrist. <coughs> <coughs> he said, Is he an Antichrist? <coughs> you see, they are all the satans, I tell you. They were born many a times and they have been killed many a times. Sixteen of them are real satans and six women. I think 70% of them are settled down here. Six women and 16 of them are real satanic folks. And this moon business is now he's going to Germany. Just imagine. He was uh, driven out of uh, London, so now he's gone to Germany. I mean, you should understand that when there is love, your family system should improve, <coughs> your relationships should improve. He was using them just for his own purpose, making a business out of them. You cannot make business out of God and godly people. Business God does not know. He does not understand your money. He doesn't understand. I am so hopelessly bad, you don't know, ask them. I mean, I am absolutely hopeless. I mean, I don't understand money at all. I try, I try, I try. I have no brains. My intelligence go off. I have no brains to understand money. You see, so many types of money you have, it's horrible. <laughs> I get so fed up with the whole stuff. <laughs> the 
big joke I do. So I don't know even today how to sign a check. I have to ask him, you write down everything I'll sign. I'm absolutely hopeless as far as worldly things are concerned. I can't even open one packet, but I can open your kundalini and give you a right. I'm very bad at it, many students are so hopeless you can't imagine. I depend on you entirely. In this country where everything is to be set, you see how you are set, but this you are set and I am so unset I don't know what to do. <laughs>